Hello everyone and welcome back to the show. Today on your daily starter, let's talk about your need for some me time, right? Let's talk about your need for some me time. Hello friend, this is the voice of Ademola Murebishi. Hello friend, you see, today's world is fast paced. I mean, society moves fast, right? I mean, every morning, chances are that when you get up in the morning, right, your day is somehow planned out for you. The sense that it's not like you, you exactly have control over your day. So throughout the day, you are at the mercy of someone, maybe your boss, maybe people at school, right? Some administration or whatever, right? So you don't have enough time to sit down and really unpack the person you are becoming. And I believe it's a trap a lot of us fall into, right? I mean, if we are going to unlock this life of super achievement and massive success, I believe there is a place for reflection, there's a place for meditation. We need to reflect, we need to meditate often, constantly, so that we can better understand ourselves, so we can better understand the world around us, so that we can better, you know, position ourselves and make the changes we need to make so that we can have a better effect and a better impact on the world around us. I believe strongly that we need to consciously seek out some me time, right? Some personal time. You need some time for yourself. Time that is just for you and just you, you know? I mean, if care is not taken, some of us will go a whole year, you know, without taking five minutes or ten minutes to sit down to reflect, sit down to think, sit down to meditate and say, you know, like, what direction is my life going? You know, why is my life like this? You know, how can I really begin to actualize some of the goals I've set out for myself? You know, I mean, New Year resolution, honestly, is not such a great idea, right? You should not only sit down to think about how you can change your life on the eve of a new year. I believe that constant, you should constantly review your plans, review your goals, so I can be sure of moving closer to you. You know, great things come out when we have some me time for ourselves. For example, the highly celebrated uh, physicist, Sir Isaac Newton. Newton's greatness, as it were, began when there was a plague during his times. We call it plague there now, they probably call it a pandemic or something, right? So there was a pandemic in his days and because of that, school was shut down, everything was shut down, so he was forced to go back home. And it was there in the orchard that um, you know, he had some brain waves that changed the world forever, you know? I mean, I got to a point in my life where I realized that I needed some more me time. So that all the books I've read, all the podcasts I've listened to, all the audio books I had listened to at that time, I get to sit down and review them, you know, and really think deep about what they are teaching me and the lessons I can learn and the adjustments I need to make. The challenge some of us have is not that we are not reading or watching videos. You know, you watch educational stuff on YouTube, you know you've learned so much, but you've not sat down to think about what you are reading, you've not sat down to commune with yourself, you don't have enough me time, and I think that's it's a major problem that we need to address, <laughs> you know? You can't just continue to, you know, um, consume materials and consume materials and consume materials without taking time to sit down and seeing how you can, let me use the word, be configured, okay? Whether you adapt, you adapt that material to yourself, you think about it, you ponder it, you process what you are reading, you process what you are watching, you process your thoughts, you know? We need me time bad, bad, bad. And like I said, the society is so fast-paced, Nowadays, that you can't get it for free, okay? You won't get it by default. You have to consciously, consciously say, you know, I need 30 minutes, I need an hour. You know, it has to become something you do consciously now because honestly, the world just doesn't give you the time to do anything like that. But it's really, really important, you know? I, there was a point in my life where I realized that every Saturday I was having events. This Saturday is also an event, and so the speaker is coming, and I was going from event to event, you know? And one Saturday I sat down, right? And I said, I'm going nowhere today. <laughs> you know, I sat down and I said, today I'm going nowhere. All right. And when people call me and I say, you know, I used to say that like, I'm, I'm home, I'm home. And I was like, honestly, I'm not home. You know, I'm not at home. Don't come to my house. <laughs> you know, because I need some me time. I need to visit myself. I need to visit myself and talk with myself and talk to myself. You know, that's how you can make progress. If you are always, you know, from one meeting to the other, one bed to the other, without any time to gather your thoughts, to process your thoughts, all the things we are learning, all the things we are we are learning, reading, watching online, is not going to do us much good. We will always need time away from everybody, away from your best friend, away from your spouse, away from everybody. Just some me time. <laughs> you need some me time. Bad, 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 bad. If you can find 
a way to create some time right for yourself and you spend that time to think and you know reflect and things like that i'm so sure you're going to observe real changes in your life and when you try it out and get those changes you should let me know why don't you repeat after me this morning say god daily loads me with benefits i am bold and strong every day in every way i am getting better and better my name is ademola murebishe thank you so much for taking our time to check out this video remember you can lead a formidable life have a great day bye